For all who visit, a national cemetery is an awe-inspiring experience. The final resting place for over three million American heroes. This is hallowed ground where we honor the service and sacrifice of our nation's veterans. The National Cemetery System began when Congress authorized President Lincoln to purchase cemetery grounds for casualties of the Civil War. Since then, veterans from every era and every conflict have been buried in national cemeteries across the country. All honorably discharged veterans are eligible for a burial at no cost to the veteran's family as well as a burial flag, headstone or marker, and presidential memorial certificate. With that burial comes a commitment to maintain every grave in every cemetery forever as a national shrine. To our veterans and their families from a grateful nation, this is our sacred trust to you. Dan Murphy's son, Lieutenant Michael Murphy, was killed in action in June 2005. He was a Navy SEAL and the first recipient of the Medal of Honor in the war in Afghanistan. We wanted Michael buried here because I knew Calverton. My parents are buried here and I knew the people who uh, uh, operated it and I knew the care and dedication that they put into it. The vast majority of the employees here are veterans themselves. They serve our country and they look at it as serving, again, being able to help people at what may be the toughest time of their life. It's not only a job, but it's a devotion, a way in which to honor those that have uh, sacrificed in defense of this nation. And so I couldn't think of a more fitting place uh, to put my son, a hero, uh, uh, in, this, uh, in this cemetery. Groundskeeper Bill McNaughton is an Army veteran and retired NYPD officer. Each day he visits the grave of his son James, also an NYPD officer, and an Army Reserve Staff Sergeant. James was killed in Iraq in 2005. I think almost 30 active duty here from Afghanistan and Iraq. To me, all these guys, they're, they're here with people who understand this sacrifice. They all understand. We all understand. Edgar Marsaw served 19 years in the U.S. Army. He now works at historic Natchez National Cemetery in Mississippi. Everybody here is like a family to me, and I believe in treating my family well, and you know, everybody's here. We want to make sure that when their loved ones come to visit them, we want them to be comfortable. They, we want, you know, the overall appearance to be great. Uh, my mom, my parents, my brother, my uncles are all buried in a national cemetery in St. Louis, and I remember how I was treated when I came there with my loved ones, and I try to do the same thing when families come into our cemetery because we want them to feel that this is home and we're here to take care of them. One frequent visitor is Albin Bertrix, a veteran of the Korean War. I visit my wife's uh, gravesite traditionally once a week. It's close easy access for me, it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's a great place to come for solitude, and uh, of course the memory of my wife. Visitors to any national cemetery can't help but notice the special care taken of the markers and grounds, part of NCA's commitment to maintain them in perpetuity as national shrines. It gives me great pleasure personally to know that when I pass on that I will be interred here with my wife under these most beautiful conditions without the necessity of family members having to come and to maintain the place or to discuss conditions with the management, knowing full well in my heart today that I will always be treated with dignity as having been a veteran and that my wife has already had that same pleasure accorded to her. Love you and miss you, sweetie. NCA understands that the death of a loved one can be one of the most difficult times in life. One way we try to help is by simplifying the process of arranging the funeral. We make it generally very easy. There's no complicated forms, there's no waiting period, there's no complex eligibility criteria. 
If you have a copy of your discharge, that's all we need. And we take it from there in a matter of hours. Furthering our commitment to veterans and their families, NCA has embarked on one of the largest expansion efforts in its storied history. There are over 400,000 veterans in this area that we will serve with this cemetery. My job as a director and job of the staff is to provide an honorable and dignified burial for the family. Today, Kim Reka has brought her children to visit the grave of their father, Christopher, a Vietnam veteran who was killed in the line of duty as a police officer in 2007. There were about 5,000 people that came to the cemetery. And as my younger son, Spencer, referred to, it was a service that was fit for a king. He served his country and his community for, for most of his adult life. It was wonderful that he was honored. And the cemetery, they did a beautiful job. Everything just went so smoothly. It was, it was beautiful. Uh, we want to make sure that when they arrive here, everything goes according to plan. We treat each and every service as if it was the only one we ever did. Burial services are provided for both casketed and cremated remains. Many cemeteries also provide interment above ground in Columbaria. Military honors are performed upon request by two-person teams from the Department of Defense. Some cemeteries, like Minnesota's Fort Snelling National Cemetery, use volunteer rifle squads. During our service, we first of all uh, recognized the entrance of the deceased. Onto the, onto the shelter. Right after that, we fire the rifles. Following that, taps, and then the folding of the flag, if it's necessary to fold the flag, and the presentation of the flag to the family. And they place it in the hands of the widow, and um, you just kind of clutch it to yourself, you know, because that's the symbol of what, what they did for this country. 50,940 funerals we have provided service for. Weather has never been a factor. We are out here every day of the week, and that's the way we work. And they were older veterans themselves doing the shooting, and it was like, they almost had a tear in their eye. Well, yeah, they Because they're honoring there. one of their own, you know? I say a prayer for all of them here, but it's so peaceful and so beautiful. When I pass, I'll be right here with Wally. We take care of our own. The National Cemetery Administration honors veterans with a final resting place that commemorates their service to our nation. All national cemeteries are maintained in perpetuity as national shrines. This service is provided at no cost to veterans and their dependents. For more information, visit our website at www.cem.va.gov and thank you for your service.